my channel and another video. So recently I went for a woodworking workshop and it was damn interesting. I'll leave a link down below of the place where I went. And if you guys are interested uh, and uh, you're in Bangalore, please, I think it's one of the best places to go. Not sponsored at all. I really enjoyed uh, my time there. That's why I am saying. So uh, it was basically an introduction to the different tools uh, that is used for woodworking. That is the uh, sander, the drilling machine, uh, the jigsaws and other different kinds of uh, saws. Um, and then after that we were uh, asked to decide what we wanted to make. So I decided on making a pegboard. Um, yeah, this is what it is. So basically a pegboard is a board of small holes with regular patterns uh, used for display of uh, information or materials. So this is the kind of dowel that is usually used, it's cut into pieces and then it's inserted inside these holes. Um, but because uh, in the workshop we didn't have the dowel so I had to make do with this. Um, which actually turned out to be really good. Um, so I'm going to get into, I don't have a video of me making this, uh, but there's still a lot of work to be done here. So I'm just going to explain a little bit as to how I made this. And then we're going to go ahead and I'll show you how I finished the whole look. Uh, I'm planning to actually just put varnish and not paint it. Um, yeah, so now I'll get into the basics of how this was made. Is first drew 14 into 14 inches on a wooden plank and then cut it out. Uh, then to get these uh, drills, I first uh, measured how many holes can uh, fit into this wooden plank, and each hole was 10, 10 centimeters apart. Uh, once I drew everything out with a pencil as to the measurements and how apart they will be, I started uh, drilling them down with this with the drilling machine and a 10 mm um, drilling screw is I think is what it's called as you can see it is 10 mm and I use this to uh, drill um, drill all of these holes uh, I still think that it's unfinished from the back so I'm going to sand those down right now um, then after these holes were achieved, um, I cut 10 mm strips of wood because I didn't have dowels uh, and then I sanded them down so as to create a circular shape um, at the edge so that I could insert these wooden dowels. Next, um, I cut out these uh, wooden planks, like tiny, two, shape, two shapes of it. One was 12 and a half centimeter in length and 10 centimeter in breadth. The other one was 28 centimeter in length and 10 centimeter in breadth again. So I cut out these wooden planks. The whole idea of it was as I insert these wooden dowels, for example, I do this here. I inserted these wooden dowels and then on top of that I put this wooden plank. And the same way I can do it at the bottom as well and one or two dowels I can keep as random. I'll show you the use of it. Uh, but before that, uh, we shall get into the basics and actually making this look pleasing and finished. So uh, what I'll do is I'll sand the uh, back side of it down and uh, put varnish on it and let it dry. And then I will show you how you can decorate or um, hang it on your wall and put stuff on it as per your needs and requirements and as you want to use it. So let's get into that.
and um, so what I have now is this pet board. Um, one of the mistakes that I made here is that I should have just applied a transparent varnish but I applied a, a white colored primer which is why it's turned out to be like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand it down first of excess uh, primer that is that you can see here. So I'm going to sand it down and then I'm going to apply a either white spray paint or acrylic paint on top of it because I think I'll just make the whole pegboard white and it can't stay the wooden color that I wanted. Um, so yeah, let's do the sanding down. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray paint all of it um, into white and it's going to turn into a white pegboard. I'm filming this conclusion for both the pegboard video as well as the revamping this corner video um, because it seamlessly collaborated and I hope you, you really liked it. Do let me know on my Instagram and Facebook pages. I'm waiting for your comments and your feedbacks. I feel amazing when they come. And lots of love. Until then, over and out.